Welcome to day 3. Now before we get into today's topic, a quick recap of day 2. Now yesterday I showed you how people can ask the same question in ChatGPT and still get two completely different answers. Not because the model is confused, but the context, the session history as well as the internal way of how these models work so that changes a lot now that single idea that every question branches into its own internal journey uh, sets the stage for what we're going to be discussing today and uh, just before i begin uh, i have one request if you are watching this on linkedin please hit the bell icon on my profile so that you don't miss the next episodes uh, and you get notified i think youtube sends i mean linkedin sends a quick notification now if you are on youtube uh, please tap subscribe subscribe and also the notification bell okay now let's get into day 3 now today we're going to get inside the model itself uh be it chat gpt or perplexity this is not about how the interface looks like yes obviously perplexity looks different than chat gpt uh but it's not about the interface but it is about the layer that sits quietly beneath this interfaces now this is a black box right it's not like everybody knows how exactly it works but what we are trying to do is we are trying to uncover how this hidden layer is working interesting a while ago when i was typing a simple financial question into chat gpt and when i was going through the answer it didn't feel like one source right the opening sounded like a government definition um and then the next part was more like a blog and then the final sounded like a casual summary of uh, you know how these people on youtube do right uh, it looks like a summary from somewhere else all this looks to be like a stitch together into one answer now that's when it hit me that uh, the model isn't recalling one piece of information right it's constructing the answer from uh, multiple places now when i type a question it doesn't treat it as a single request it breaks it down internally into smaller questions now for example uh, here you go now if i ask margin accounts in india the model may quietly separate uh, create a separate internal queries like margin account meaning or uh, margin requirements etc as you can see here uh now these form the backbone of what happens next now those internal queries by the way if you notice these are all longer queries nowadays chat gpt is asking quite long uh queries itself uh you know signaling the fact that it is becoming more and more conversational now now these internal queries that you see here right by the way i'm using a tool uh from fta we have something called the query fan out plugin so basically what this plugin does is it will show you what kind of queries that chat gpt is using um either it's on bing or uh, google we don't know there's no official word about it initially they were using bing but we have lot of evidence that they've been using google results also anyways coming back to the point now these internal queries often go out to the search engines and then the search engine return the pages and the model reads snippets from those pages and then it begins to select the right answers you know like we discussed yesterday like which part feels safe which feels consistent uh, more clear and which wants to drop completely right and this is the interesting part the decision to include or exclude something happens long before the final answer is generated now if it reads a line that's unclear then it simply removes it now if your brand is describing something inconsistently across the website then the model itself starts avoiding that brand and if another brand has a bit of more stable definitions across multiple pages then that brand becomes a part of the final output because it feels a bit more predictable and safe uh, please watch this word predictable and safe that is what these llms are also trying to get into right uh, because they don't want any unnecessary goof up happening in the answers you might have seen a lot of um, goof ups happened in google's ai or views where uh, i think uh, i think it was somebody lily gray or somebody who was asking about uh, you know is this year 2025 or uh, 2026 or something like that and the model was giving some vague answers for that so yes uh, now coming back to the point now when i ask an example like what is a dmat account the model may use from various sources like a government site or a brokerage firm explanation for you know because there are a lot of brokerage sites they have given a lot of uh, clear definitions about dmat account and maybe a small summary 
uh, of what it has learned through the training you know now the final answer is a blend of different sources and decisions made inside this hidden layer now once we understand this that the behavior uh, of these llms become easy to read now the visible answer is just the end of a much longer chain of reasoning that works you know uh, in fact i love to see that uh uh the reasoning that these tools do whenever it's creating the answer i love clicking on it and seeing what it is actually doing in the background right and the chain always starts with clarity not ranking right not ranking or not search volumes or not length of the content um you know just clarity and consistency here what uh, llms are looking for is a bit more clarity and consistency right and again this is not like completely different because definitely a lot of seos uh, we do believe that we should bring clarity in the content right i don't think we love to create fluff content um you know again the word fluff is overused by ai don't think i'm using this from a uh, from a ai tool so um now uh, now now this particular bringing clarity into the content is super important because if your content is very it's having clarity and consistency now obviously the dwelling time of people on your page is going to increase the dwell time uh, the ctrs they play a good role in ranking a particular site now uh, this clarity consistency now this is also why seo metrics can look perfectly fine um, but llm visibility drops now because google evaluates pages but llms evaluate entities um, so they are not just dependent on one page right they reward consistency they avoid ambiguity they rely on what feels most stable across multiple signals now this stability factor is decided in the hidden layer not in the final response so instead of thinking about ranking pages uh you know i think we have started looking at the information that the model relies on before it writes a single word if this information is clear uh, if it is aligned and if it is consistent then the model uses it now if it is scattered or contradictory then the model seems to drop it and once it drops you inside the hidden layer uh you're gone from the output now this is the core idea behind search engineering now instead of asking how do i rank this page the question should become like how do i shape the information the model reads before it answers because that's the real match by the way it's a similar way that even perplexity works grok all these llms all they do is they learn they get trained and then they uh, whatever definition if they have in their memory they simply spit out otherwise if it is like a query which involves a prompt which involves a live search then obviously they will be relying on either the search results from google or bing or they have their own they may create their own search engines i think perplexity is also creating its own search uh, because they want to reduce their dependency on google in the long run now uh, like i said the core idea for search engineering should be like mostly looking at how do i shape the information that the model reads before it answers because that's the real match now tomorrow on day 4 uh, i want to show a moment that changed everything for me now this moment where seo was still working perfectly tracking uh, traffic was strong rankings were stable but the visibility inside the ai tools dropped sharply and once i understood why this kind of change happened it became obvious that the old model of search has already shifted hopefully the day 4 explains a turning point that connects everything uh, we have discussed so far see you then 